Hello everybody, Christian from Treasure Town here, and today we're gonna to be announcing a new product that's actually an old product. We're bringing back the $100 grab bag, and it's gonna be a mix of currency, coins, mostly US, potentially some world, and I made 20 of them, just sold one, um, but I filmed like 10 or 11 or something like that of them, just so that you could get an idea of a sample. I won't know which one it is that I'm sending out, um, so you have a more than a half chance of getting one that I put in the video, but I always try to hold myself accountable, wanted to do that, tried to make them pretty representative of what you're gonna get, and they're back in stock as of today, so um, I've appreciated your support. Let me know if you think these are fair, and sit back and enjoy the reverse unboxings, if you will. And here is my first a grab bag $100 in the game for a while, so it's been a long time since I've offered this small of an increment, but I'm going to do a big series, so we got 1928D Red Seal and a nice 35C Washington Silver Certificate, two graded coins, a South Dakota Mint State 66 quarter, and a BU uh, Andrew Jackson Presidential Dollar, and then the good stuff, 1879O Morgan Silver Dollar, uh, 1892 Colombian Exposition Half Dollar, 1899O Barber Half Dollar, an uncirculated 1943p Warnickel, 1952 Australia Shilling, 50% uh, silver, and a free throw in 1943d Penny. Now, remember that my costs end up being about, um, I think it's like 1250 so I uh, have a thin profit margin on it, but I'll show you the next. There, a lot of them are going to be pretty similar in their theme. And here's the next bag, a pretty similar theme, but a 1928D. Remember, this is adding up to 100 bucks. Um, 1928D, two dollar, a super crisp, uh, with the letter or the numbers down there a little bit off. Uh, 1957 silver certificate. We got the two, one presidential, one uh, quarter SMS, two graded coins, and then we got a 1912 Vinicle, a pretty nice 1835 uh, Cornet Head large scent, I think it's Cornet Head, 1906 Barber Dime, 1892, which is the better date, Colombian half dollar, 1889 Morgan dollar with a little bit of luster, decent detail, uh, 1897 Barber Quarter, and a 1943D Steel Penny. And this one is also pretty similar to the last one, you know, based off of the Morgan dollar and then these two currency notes, but we also have a Proof 69 Deep Cameo Silver Dollar, a James Monroe NGC BU coin. Um, the first day of issue doesn't really mean much. We have an 1884 Silver Dollar, 1895 Barber Half, uncirculated, and it looks really nice in person, 1943 War Nickel, uh, Buffalo Nickel, V Nickel, and a 1940 50% Great Britain shilling sort of to introduce people to world collecting. Next up, again, we've got the $2 bill, 1928C, a super crisp 57 silver certificate. Then our slapped coin here, the 66 red brown um, wheat penny, really nice condition coin, plus a James Monroe NGC BU. Uh, 1897 O Morgan dollar, a little more worn, so I tried to get some cool coins in an 1833 coronet head cent, 1907 barber half dollar, 1920 um, buffalo nickel, 1943 nice unk. Um, World War II uh, nickel, and then I always try to put one of these in sort of for free, a 1943 penny. And a somewhat larger grab bag because we factored in a bunch of stuff as like a bonus for three bucks, but um, you know, the main bulk of the value, these have been selling on eBay for like 30 bucks. I factored in it, it in for way lower than that. It's a shipwreck 1808 East India Company, excuse me, um, 20 cash, uh, just a really cool coin quite historic. Then we have a 1930 Buffalo Nickel, 1884 um, Morgan Silver Dollar, uncirculated 1943 World War II Nickel, 1907 half dollar, 1941 50% silver shilling, crisp 57, um, a nice 1928D, or not that nice, but $2 Jefferson, and then a proof silver 40%er, uh, 69 deep cameo half dollar, and a presidential Jefferson $1 bill. Another bag coming in high here. So we got the two 1928D and 1935 silver certificate, the earlier one this time. This one's actually a slightly more valuable coin. Uh, I factored it in for 25 bucks at a retail, 1953D PCGS Mint State 66 red. Uh, also got a nicer uh, 1898 Morgan silver dollar here. Uh, we got an 1808 Shipwreck 20 cash from the East India Company, uncirculated 1943P 
Warnickel, 1912D, Barber Half, 1938, Great Britain, 50% silver, um, 1935 Buffalo Nickel, and a uh, James Madison BUNGC presidential dollar. 100 coin grab bag. This one is going to focus on a little bit of a different sort of, I guess, focus. Um, we have the Morgan dollar, obviously. This one's actually in pretty nice shape. I wasn't sure if it was maybe a little cleaned, but uh, factored it in at a pretty low cost. Uh, 1893 Colombian half dollar, 1909 uh, D barber quarter. Two slab coins that aren't worth too much, but are just sort of cool for anybody to get. Uh, we got a 1928 F uh, $2 red seal and a 1938 C $1 silver certificate. Then we get a 1920 British florin. This is really cool. 1921 U.S. occupation of the Philippines, 75% silver, 10 centavos. Uh, and then this one is going to be an 1808 East India Company 20 cash, 1901 uh, Barber dime. And that about sums it up. And here we've got another $100 grab bag. Probably going to film like three more of these that I make and then just make a bunch more. Um, you can always upload your unboxing. I always like that. So a 1969 S Proof 68 Dime, a 2007 P BU John Adams Presidential Dollar, 1928 C $2 uh, Red Seal, 1935 D Washington, and we have a 1900 O Morgan Dollar. These nickels I factored in just for one buck, but 28 Buffalo Nickel, 1907 V Nickel, 1911 D Barber Half Dollar, 1952 uh, Carver Washington, uh, 1816 Hold Larsen, 1947 Quarto Balboa, 90% silver from Panama, and a 1943p Unk War Nickel. Then we've got these um, group, this group of coins, I should say. Uh, we got the 1827 large cent, pretty nice coin. 1882 uh, Morgan dollar. I think that there's a mint mark. Let's see. Uh, yes, the S mint mark, San Francisco. Uh, 1808 Admiral Gardner, 20 cash shipwreck coinage. 1862 Indian Head Cent, 1912 D Barber Dime, 1943 P uh, Uncirculated War Nickel, 1906 V Nickel, uh, 1970 S Proof 68 Dime, and a John Adams 2007 P Brilliant Uncirculated Presidential Dollar, 1928 F $2 bill, and a 1935 D um, Washington uh, Silver Certificate. And here we've got the 1928 G $2 bill. 1935D uh, $1 bill, and again, similar theme, nothing too out of the ordinary, because we got a Colombian half dollar, 1893, 1830 large cent, 1943 uh, World War II war nickel, 1885 Morgan dollar, 1907 V nickel, John Adams uh, Unk uh, dollar, and a 1970S proof 68 dime. And our last one of these on film, then I'll do a little breakdown at the end. But we've got a 1920G $2 bill, 1957 Crisp $1 bill, 1899V nickel, 1887O Morgan dollar, 1826, um, what do you call it, large cent, 1909O Barber half dollar, I'm going to throw in a steel cent, 1943P War nickel in nice shape, and then George Washington dollar and a Proof 69 Deep Cameo Bicentennial Silver Quarter. So there we have it. Um, let me know if you think it's a good value. I mean, this is sort of my goal is to move some of the inventory where I'm not, you know, I don't think it's worth a ton, a ton of time, you know, putting three hours into listing a bunch of the items on eBay. And I think it works really well for me. People have been quite happy with it on their end. So anyways, again, treasuretownyt.com slash shop is where you can find these grab bags and I'll look forward to seeing you there. Thanks for watching the video. I'd encourage you to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to stay updated. I've also got Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, so you can follow me there. Um, TreasureTownYT.com is the main channel website. Definitely give that a visit. I've got a lot of information about me up there and the channel. Uh, CoinGrabBag.com as well currently redirects there, but it's some good opportunities for very fair grab bags, both made by me and other sellers. A lot of different options, so that's a good way to support. Um, there's also TreasureTownCoins.com. In the future, my coin dealing uh, operation will be done out of that website. Uh, CoinMeltPrice.com for updates on the melt prices of your coins, both U.S. and world a lot of resources in that website and then coinsmetalscards.com being developed right now as a marketplace and news source for coins metals cards and collectibles in general so i'll see you on my future videos looking forward to seeing you there and hope you have a good day